Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefined Horizons. One of the things you have to do on a land title survey, according to the spec, is you have to know features, major features that fall within five feet of the of the property line. And so what I want to do in this video is show you how we do that here at Redefined Horizons. So we have we have two things that we try and do on every land title survey. The first is uh, I, as a licensed surveyor, try and walk the boundaries of each site when we're doing a land title survey. So I actually physically put my boots on the ground and try and walk the perimeter of the parcel. Now that's not, it's not always possible to walk every side of the, of the parcel. <laughs> Sometimes when we're in an urban area, we might have buildings on both sides of the property line at zero setback, or we might be in really rugged terrain if we're up in the mountains. But as a general rule, uh, I, I try and uh, walk each side of the subject parcel when we're doing a land title survey. And if we can't do that, we'll note that if for some reason we can't walk one side of the parcel, but we'll note that on a land title survey. So I physically walk that uh, boundary, and we also try when we can, uh, when we have the airspace clearance, we try and fly that uh, perimeter with the UAV and capture oblique orthophotos. And so I've done, I want to walk you through an example of, of how we note the features that need to be called out on the land title survey because they're within five feet of the property line or they cross the property line. That's what we so my shop, that's what we call the, the call-outs, the call-outs for the land title survey. And so I want to just walk you through how we do that. So I've got the uh, the oblique uh, aerial photos pulled up for this uh, land title survey that we're working on this week. And uh, I've started some notes here, just a notepad. So uh, I've, the, the photos start at the southeast corner of the parcel, and then we start moving west along the south line. And I'm just going to make a note here uh, of items that we need to call out on the land title survey because they either cross the property line or they're within five feet of the, of the I should be saying boundary line, of the boundary line of the parcel. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and get started. So uh, this is the south corner of the site. And um, right away you can see some stuff. So on, on this particular parcel, the, the chain link fence here is basically on the boundary and Right away, you can see some things that are that are going to be within five feet of the property line. Of course, we have the fence itself, and we have this concrete structure. Those couple of things we've already got called out on kind of our initial uh, draft of the survey. But uh, so this is I'm going through here kind of as a double check here, uh, making sure that that we didn't miss anything. And so uh, I want to make sure I'm not 100% sure if we called out these utility poles. They're going to be very close to the property line. Um, and there's actually a, it's a little bit confusing because you end up with two sets. There's a set of poles here for some overhead lights, and then there's this transmission line. The transmission line is within five feet of this south boundary. The, the, uh, the overhead lights and that electricity is not. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and start my notes here. So I'm going to say uh, overhead electric power transmission lines. Within five feet. I'll just make a note of that. Then, if you can see down here, there's a couple tanks. There's a man gate, which I know we have called out, but there's a couple tanks. There's actually a well. It's like a monitoring well, water monitoring well that actually comes off of the property. So this is this is actually not on the property. So we want to make sure we, we call that out. It's hard to see in the photo. Um, somebody might catch that. It's gonna be really hard from the photo, but I I will actually walk this line, so I know it's there. So I'm saying monitoring well south of the parcel boundary. And then uh, we'll just keep moving along these photos here. Okay, so we're just looking for stuff. You know, I'm not worried about trees in this case. I'm just looking for other items of interest. Here's another power pole, but I already have that noted. Okay. So I'm just moving along here. It's another power pole. This is a concrete V ditch you can see here that runs kind of parallel to the south boundary. We already have that noted on our survey, so I don't need to note that. It's another power line here. Uh, you know, you got to be a little bit careful with this stuff. So somebody's cut a hole in the fence here. <laughs> There's kind of a well-worn trail, so I'm probably going to make a note of that. So I'm just going to say hole and fence with footpath 
along the south boundary and we'll be able to pick that up in our UAV ortho. So I just want to make a note of that. And then uh, we have two more cases of that here. So there's one here, there's a hole cut in the fence and another one here. So I just want to make sure we note that. Uh, we've got a power pole and some guy wires here. So I'm just going to say uh, power pole, guy wires, off-site at southwest corner. Okay. And then we've got this fence coming in. So I'm going to say a joiner fence uh, joins just north of say joins uh, west boundary just north of the southwest corner that's this fence right here so that that's coming in whenever I have a fence coming into my subject parcel on a land title survey I try and make a note of that now there's a little two-track road here but that's further than five feet, so I don't need to note that. And I, I should mention, we will gladly provide these uh, surveys to the uh, client for the lender and title company to review. Now, you got to be real careful here. There's a concrete V-ditch here that may come within five feet. So I'm going to go ahead and make a note of that. Sorry. Let's say concrete ditch near uh, this will be the west boundary near the west boundary and just say on the inside check distance okay and then you'll notice I got a guy wire there too so there's a guy wire right here I don't know if you guys can see that guy wires near west boundary Inside, so we need to make a note of that. Okay. Now it's a little hard to see, but there is a well here, monitoring well here. There's another one here, and the, and the the water line actually does come up to the fence. But I, we've already noted that on the survey, so I don't need to write that down right now. You gotta watch this two-track road, man. It's getting pretty close to five feet. Uh, I know, I know it's wider than five feet, but it's it's getting close. You just gotta keep an eye on this stuff. This is a separate uh, utility structure. It's not part of our site, uh, but you notice there is an access road here. And you can see as we move a little closer, there's a gate. So there's a gate and an access road, which we have noted that on the survey already. So I'm not gonna write that down, but that's the kind of stuff you gotta keep an eye out for. Okay, now we're coming up. Our property line actually, this is a pretty steep, steep uh, hillside here. So they actually ran the fence uh, quite a ways down. There's about two acres between the property line and the fence. The, the property corner is somewhere up in here, and then it kind of cuts across this bluff. So there's not going to be a lot on this north line because we're just kind of following this, the face of this bluff. So there's not going to be a lot to note. Uh, We'll just run through those photos, though. So not a lot to note that the property line is basically coming right down in here. Okay, and then the property line comes in. There's a corner right here at the fence. Okay, we've noted the gate here. The gate in the main driveway has been noted. Okay, now we're basically at the, the see, this would be the northeast corner of the property. And we're going to start going down the east side, and uh, I walked that line as well. It's basically treed. There's not a whole lot there. Now, we do have this access road. That's that's going to be pretty close to five feet there, so we just want to make a note of that. Okay, so check distance on interior access road near east boundary. So we just want to check that. I think it's more than five feet, but we'll double check. This light's way more than five feet. You'll notice here there's a little utility lid, and uh, we've made a note of that. 
You can't see it in the UAV ortho, but I think there's a water valve right here too. You can kind of see this hydrant. I think there's a water valve there that we that we noted. Okay, so just kind of moving down. And now we're basically back where we started, right? So now he's just the UAV pilot's running me back up the line, which is fine. So this is where we started. This is at the southeast corner. So now I've got my notes. Okay, we've been all the way around the parcel, and what we're going to do is we're just going to go in and make sure that we uh, have all these properly called out, and we're going to check some of these distances to these features that are close, and so I'll, I'll do that in another video with you guys. Oop. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Ho hopefully that helps. Gives you an idea how you can check your uh, oblique aerial photos on a land title survey to make sure that you're uh, calling out all your features that cro either cross the boundary line or within five feet of the boundary line.